Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about simplifying radical equations. So if I was given this problem, <coughs> square root 200 m to the fourth power times n, okay? Well, let's do a prime factorization on 200, okay? Well, 200, um, it's up to you, I see it, but it's 2 times 100, okay? And 100 is just 10 times 10, and 10 times 10 is 2 times 5, right, for that first 10. And that's 10 is 5 times 2, or 2 times 5, whatever way you want to do it. Okay, m to the fourth, I'm going to break down here to be just m times m times m times m, and n is just by itself, that single n, doesn't really break down. Okay, and so now I've done a prime factorization of 200 m to the fourth times n, which is 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 5, or 5 times 2, times m times n times n times n, times that one n that didn't have a branch that comes down, the tree there. Okay, so now let's go circle our pairs, okay, a pair of twos right there, I have a pair of fives right here, and a pair of m's, and another pair of m's. So now I circle my pairs, I recognize my loners, which are the two and the n, the singles, so when I write my final answer, I'm going to put my, um, excuse me, the uh, pairs representing the outside, so these twos represent one two on the outside, these five represent one five on the outside, we multiply, that first pair of m's right there, and the second pair of m. Now we have the square root of what's left on the inside, which is this 2, times that uh, n. Don't forget that n that was up there. So now let's simplify. 2 times 5 is 10. m times m is n squared. And then 2 times n is just 2n. So now we have a final answer of 10m squared times the square root of 2n. So let's recap. We're given the square root of 200 m to the fourth times m. We need to do a prime factorization of that. 200 broke down to be 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 2. And m to the fourth was m times m times m times m. And then n was just by itself n. I circled my pairs. I had a pair of twos there, a pair of fives there, and I have two pairs of m's. I wrote it out here. It would be 2 times 5 times n times m to represent all the pairs. And the singles were left inside of the square root, 2 times n. So we simplified that. 2 times 5 was 10. m times m was m squared. And so our final answer here, final answer being simplified, is 10m squared times the square root of 2.